talk about that as we get into the yeah, sure. the, the show yeah. a bit. So the yeah, yeah, yeah. remember that right. one. We can just say we've got something special and oh, we've just gone live. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Whoa. Hello. Right. <laughs> Professional. Hello. Yeah. Welcome to Sarissa's show. <laughs> With me, Richard. God. We've got Steve down there, and we've got Hello. Gary next to us. Oh, yeah, whichever hand works. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Let's start uh, seeing if people come on board, and we'll give them a chance to get here, and we'll talk a little bit about this lovely picture that we've got down below us here. Lovely range coming this weekend. Mm. Okay. So let's have a start perhaps with Steve, and say, Steve, tell us a little bit about what we've got planned for March. Um, March is a, a, a month of the Mediterranean. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Going to warmer climes. Yeah. <laughs> so this is this started off as is in the book a year ago. Coming well, uh, eleven months ago the book was released, and one of the kits yeah, in it up. was was a, a little Mediterranean terraced house with. Some floors on it, brightly painted. Yeah, um, it was part of a quite what was quite a chunky range, um, and it would have been released a lot earlier, but everything changed last year, so it's it's arrived this year. Yeah, and we, you know, we're going to show it off and spend a bit of time showing people around our little town. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've probably seen a few pictures like the one there uh, over the course of the last month as we've been teasing it out a little bit. But if you notice behind Gary's shoulder there, he says, oh, up in the corner there, and there's kind of a, a saily type thing with big circles, which oh, we'll come to in a little bit. This one. <laughs> yes, don't show it off yet. <laughs> <laughs> but Gary, um, there, there's somewhat over uh, 50 items that we can use interchangeable. There are. There's uh, 59 kits, 59. sort of, but yeah. it does actually go further than that. And don't don't ask AJ how many codes he's just spent time coding things up for the website. <laughs> but yes, there's a serious pile of codes. Yeah. Bear with this, so I don't pull you off the table. So principally, you know, simple building. But of course, you have the same thing as with much many of our ranges. It's just the stackable floors with or without balconies. And then, of course, we have the various uh, roof types that you can get. And that starts making your town a little different. So you can actually take that Mediterranean feel where you have all the different roof types. It's a bit of a jumble of architecture due to history mainly. So you get a, you've got a Greek look with a slope. You've got the a French look, an Italian look. Um, <clears throat> says he. Sorry, Rich, Rich, Rich it was uh, making sure they've got everything ready. So there they go. So you've got the flat roof, <laughs> yep. which of course the nice thing is, is that because you can mix and match and you can change your buildings, if you're working on a different scenario or backdrop to your gaming, you can pull off a floor, put on a floor. So your your gaming is always flexible. So, you know, it, it, you, you can get a lookout on top of a building looking down while everything else is going on. Yeah, you can really get that Malifaux sort of feeling of sort of chasing through the streets yeah. uh, over the rooftops. Yeah. Plus right. it gives you, you know, that different heights as you add the extra floors and you can swap if you've got the same footprint kits, you can swap the extra floors around so you can go from having two that have got three floors to have one that's got five and one that's got two and yeah. You only need a few yeah. multiple buildings from the yeah. the bundles and yeah. uh, you can start building it up nicely. Now and you've got sorry, Rick, carry on. Now now we saw you've got uh the Kind of the standard pitch sort of roof, yeah, a sloped roof and a flat roof, yeah, yeah. Now you've done something with that one. What what have you done with that one? Oh, the, yeah, this is simply corrugated card and a bamboo skewer that you would normally use on your barbecue. Oh, <laughs> so it is literally cut the card, 
Now, the thing with the uh, Mediterranean terracotta tiles, we're all tiles actually, but the, where slate you get, sorry, my camera's one place and my hand's at the other. Where you get slate and then you offset the next layer up, Mediterranean tiles, like the Roman tiles, had the two tiles with a little lip and something went over it. Well, they got a bit more clever in the 14th century and started connecting that. Looping it. With oh, it's one of those nights. <laughs> yeah. So you start getting the flutes run all in line. So I don't bother. I don't bother, Cotter. Have I frozen? <laughs> no, yeah, you're still here. Be back. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So so that's all that is is literally uh, paper, corrugated paper, bought in A4 sheets, stuck on. I use either um, sticky tape double-sided sticky tape or a bit of uh, PVA, but not a lot, just a bit along one just edge. A, just something to, to tack it in place. Yeah, yeah, just to tack it in place. And that fits perfectly on what is our card roof underneath. Yes. And that's been done on all all those sort of roofs. That's the, the pitched yeah. one. So a lot of them, you'll notice that some of them have the chimneys, which is a more modern addition. And then others, like these, would have had a... They're vents. They're Just the vents in the roof. Yeah, so they would smoke and go straight out. So it, what we're trying to do is vary the architecture that you're playing and gaming within. Yeah. Not for gaming purposes, but regional purposes. So this stretches across such, well, the globe, because the Caribbean's involved as well. So yeah. you get a Caribbean feel. Yeah, you could get bits in uh, anywhere around the Med, North Africa and everything, or, you know, even into Southeast Asia and places like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's Can we have a close-up close of the floor with the balcony? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he has frozen. Yeah, he's frozen that time. He'll come back in the shorts in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. So, so one, it, one it, thing it, it, in there, Steve, was about the gas lamp as well, wasn't it, with the stackability? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the stacking floors isn't anything new. The World War Europe stuff. You can buy extra floors and they all stack and a lot of them have got common footprints so the same floor will suit multiple buildings in the across the ranges uh gas lamp alley's got the same it's got you can get extra floors and stack them up and um, create create some more tenement looking take it away from a um a terrace block up to something that's may, maybe more like terrace flats and things um so it's, yeah. There's a lot there, you know, washing greens, communal toilet blocks in them. There's loads of that. We'll be back in a moment, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, we've got something coming up for uh, that as well later in March, I believe. Uh, yeah. Is it in Majesty's name? Yeah, there's all we got. There's a couple of North Star and um, Austin that have got the new version of version two, isn't it? Yeah. So they've been pushing, showing off some of the kits and things like that, which worked really well with it. But yeah, bit, bit of Victorian science fiction. Um, so we've got a, a really good offer coming up later in the month. Later if anyone's month. interested in that, with a, a big full table deal. Part of our gas should... party. Oh, you're yeah, back, Gary. Hello. Back. Yes, yes. Let's have a close-up then of the door frames and the uh, the uh, lower floor there. Now, so what was we'll the shutters? Yeah, the 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 buildings are actually done so it's etched, so you don't necessarily have to have the shutters and the frame on there. So you can actually paint that detail in. Use the shutters somewhere else. Don't use them at all. And it, the windows are window cards, so they're internal as well. So there, there's a lot of flexibility, simple flexibility. It's not not a matter of if you don't fit it, there's this notch missing, or something like that. And the same with the doors. And I know people are going to ask, but you've got a lovely mottled effect on the side of the building there quite nicely. That is a, a mixture of techniques. For, uh, and they're in the book. They're very simple ones. What I use is three cans, spray cans of color. Use airbrush if you wanted to, or even dry brush. It's it Basically, I'm just get, working dark to light light to dark <laughs> overlapping getting the yeah, layers just just merging the layers so that you can see there where you know I, you'll, you'll get there that there's a light patch there yep 
and then what I used was a set of stone stencils that I think we've mentioned before yeah, in a couple of the other ones, other not shows. A lovely work on the castle, but they're starting to appear again. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's one of those things you start, you float in, float out, whether it's appropriate for what you're doing. So these stencils are just dry. I've dry brushed, not airbrushed. Um, yep. As you find, most or everything I do for for these sort of kits is is dry brush handwork, um, and that it literally is just placed on. And then what happens is I'll dry brush a patch. You can move these; these ones are keyed in so that you can move them along. But I just patch it, and then it's just different colours. And and again, I'm using uh, some people call it wet palette. I call it paint lids. Um, <laughs> my work mat just to cut mix the color in as i go and that's how you'll get the different tonal feel for the for the stonework or brickwork even when i use the brick ones and then oh. the real mottled effect is chalk pastels and all i do is a bit of sandpaper and grind those down and then work those up as um and use those as pa uh, weathering powders and just push them in like a, a really soft brush like a, a uh yeah, yeah. well what's, um, what's the name gary what's the name of the web a couple of people are asking what's the name of the website again that the stencils are from uh we'll stick the, the link we'll stick the link up we'll find it and stick the link up they do them in about eight they do them from like one twelfth scale to yeah, to yeah. like yeah and they're, they're made they they're quite sturdy so you can use them to actually put paste over the top to create Con like um compounds over to make brickwork yeah. on dolls yeah. houses and things like that or for block paving and things on. yeah so they're, they're quite they're really sturdy so they'll last well they're not flimsy which some stencils can be the company is bromley bromley crafts that's it bromley crafts bromley yeah. crafts yeah it, come, it comes to mind and then disappears every so often <laughs> But the, the thing that Steve's on about the pastes and stuff just means that you can actually use them to get textures. And they are quite sturdy because they have to. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, they have to survive the uh, rigors of being dry brushed, don't they? <laughs> so... Yeah, no, the, these ones are these ones are really, really sturdy. They're made to get like concrete paste and you paste over the top of them the... and then peel Drum... them away and you leave that Take brick. Whack. With that... Yeah. Yeah. yeah now gary over your shoulder we, we've talked about uh um some of the range of buildings but uh there is uh, a farmhouse type farmstead coming as well yeah i'm gonna move slowly so i don't freeze because i'm not sure whether it can cope with the speed <laughs> if you move if you move slowly though we won't know if you're frozen or not <laughs> it's, it's like space you know the old spaceman walk so some people who've gone into the greek the ancient greek range will sort of see a simila uh, similarity <laughs> to the farmhouse a uh, formality to it so this was this was a kit that we were working on as steve said this has been in the in the pile for a long time working and churning and then when we pulled into the greek ancient greek stuff we used this farm to create the the ancient version so the, this this family has been in here or this house is there they yeah. built up a little bit they put some stairs on they've still got the animal stalls at the bottom uh, underneath yeah and yeah, yeah and and you can see it's neatened up they've taken a, the rough bits off the ends there <laughs> where it goes but it is still on the terrain tile so all that greek far outbuildings and walls and things actually complement no. this yeah yeah, they complement this range um, to 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 just broaden out where you are. And I think that's got to be one of my favourite ones as well because it's got it's got that lovely sort of varying height. Yeah, and yeah. It's, it's not been kid. built over over time. It's become yeah. what it is over time, not just. Yeah. I, think, you know, the thing is, when we you know when we even going back to when we did the the older stuff, the Rome stuff, and that when you look at Roman architecture and Greek architecture and things, a lot of it's the same because they just. You know the romans came along and just built extended built an extension on you know yeah. and i think yeah. that's going right back going into our dark age range the we've talked about before the roman oh, the villa. villa yeah and then yes, we've got yeah. a dark age version of it and it's just the same building and the new occupants have made some improvements 
Some might yeah. say they're improvements. Some might say they actually made it worse. You know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's that it's that thing. You know that that not everything was built in the period that it's it's in. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's that's <laughs> where you know we're playing those games because we have in the light of that ruined versions of these as well coming, don't we? Yes. Have you got one? <laughs> says, says says he. Of course we do, Gary. <laughs> Here's one I made earlier. <laughs> yes. There we go. So now uh, there's a kit. Steve and I had a conversation years ago, and, and I was talking about uh, an attrition house, a house that, as you dismantle it, would ruin at different levels. Very. Com I'm currently working on a very large kit that's working on that principle. But this, the idea is, it is a ruined version, as you can see. But of course, you can make it even more ruined. That's just brilliant. And as as you look, that looks like a pucker ruin. And that, in truth, if you left the shutters off, would work quite well, in my view, with the um, ruined city. Yes. Yeah. Blends in with. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It could be a villa within, or yeah, the yeah. center of a, a town within the city. So, and, and and the other thing as well is if you the portions of the walls that sit below the floor if you didn't fix those then you could actually sit the two bits side by side couldn't you the ground floor is a little yes. bit of another yeah. ruined, ruined yeah. thing so you could you know there's a bit of flexibility there depending on yeah how you put yeah. it together and yeah fix things up so we've also and of course that's repeated in um we we've picked from the key buildings the small wide the base corner one there to turn into ruins yeah yeah my my um roof storage box which is the simple church. And the church yes that's become one which you can yeah. see is a different stencil i'm using in there which is a more formal cut stone stencil on this one yeah but that just you know it's a very simple way of doing it and of course if you the use all the other techniques of you know the, the plaster rubble Throw in a bit of PVA, chuck a load of um, scrap in it. Yeah. Go with. I'm reaching over. <laughs> Again, you get the that's the small version. So these are the same footprints as the the full buildings. Yeah. Again, so with the conversion. Sorry, Steve. So I was going to say, so you could you could swap them out and then destroy them. Again, yeah. yeah so you got your you know you could building. take roofs gone. All the first floor's gone now, down, yeah. down to the rubble. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, I think I've just fro nearly, frozen. Nearly, nearly. <laughs> so I'm just going to pull out the... It's like the, the mayor's house, so that one, if you can just about see it in the background, that's that version. Yeah, so you've got the two side by side, you can literally swap them out. And the other thing with it is because the, the window frames are card, it's quite good to just snip a little bit out and just put it like the plaster's broken all the way around the walls. There's a little bit here and a little bit here, a little bit's left. So it's a little less formal in how you can achieve your, your finish. Yeah. That's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> now, already with, uh, with such a vast range, people are asking, can we add extras <laughs> like a church tower for example <laughs> well it depends <laughs> yeah. i mean a number of this I, this is the thing is that we have a core range at the moment there are games we can be playing with it now of course i think uh someone's thinking there with the, the bell tower on a church they're thinking kelly's heroes and i'm sure we've got something in the adobe range we do yeah the, well this, the, the mexican there's a Mexican chop, which border. we do very Mediterranean, and it's yeah. actually very like the one in the original Magnificent Seven, we would say. Strange. <laughs> <that. laughs> Show us that windmill, Gary. Let's have a oh, look. Uh, the windmill. I've got to be careful. I broke it today. <laughs> yeah, well, see, when you move things around, you, you can't remember where you put them, and then suddenly, well, there's your windmill. Oh, okay. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, you don't see many of those around, do we? Maybe two in a bundle. <laughs> Could we put a farm in it, maybe? <laughs> yes. Yeah. We'll call it a what, farmstead. How about that? Oh yeah. What about a little trellis unit thing? 
Maybe yeah, we could have, we could have some, some bait. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that would be quite good. Yeah. Yeah. Then so, all you need is uh, some food on a horse. Where's yeah, we, your... we could make it some sort of special bundle, sort of to mark 10 years or something. We'll see what yeah, we can do. 10 yeah, years. Well, that wasn't our 10 years of day last year, Gary. Yes. <laughs> sort of. I, uh, the, the, uh, the, the 10 year passed between Cerisa and I is a bit checkered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In that it it I started doing stuff which I've I've deliberately put on Facebook this evening so people can go and have a look at that, which is things like railway stations and signal boxes and things. I was starting to get people while I was painting figures, commission painting, people were starting to say, Oh, could you paint this? And I was looking at the buildings and going, I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> so I then um, bumped into Cerisa before I started doing Cerisa building. So it's like, there's a few things happening on my Facebook page, just to show where the progression is and where we get into sort of mm. thing. And we get, you know, and it's keeping going. So there's uh, all of that. And so, yeah, and I I don't know whether it's the beginning of 20, uh, 2011 or the 2012, but there's this is like a, a year's <laughs> worth of, contributions yeah. and collaborations and confusions so we're yeah. going to mark mother's day this year with an official anniversary yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, uh, why and, not <laughs> and do we have a cutting plan <laughs> there's things coming yeah right so yeah. that'll be something for people to look out for and yeah. it might involve a farmstead and some other it, goodies to go with it perhaps yeah it you know Cerisa and i have we've done a lot of collaborations have we got and we've involved one collaboration in this collaboration <laughs> it was something i thought oh let's mark it and it's happening very quickly and really is nice um and would it be fair with your your background to say it's quite a unique thing that we've done it is I, a unique thing i don't think i've seen these particular characters anywhere no i think uh, yeah. mr mr crooked dice there carl he would really like it actually it's down the street probably yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll we'll probably talk more about that because i think our next one's on the 18th uh march uh, yeah. about three weeks four weeks away yeah. um but uh we're we've got something else at the end of march which we could probably move on and talk about in a moment um so we're, with a lovely range coming um we'll start with some bundles this weekend but uh we do have pat mccon uh, i believe as an event to start the year off for us on events yes yeah um so we did it last year a year ago string <laughs> for the first time and on an, on an online uh con and it was great fun wasn't it we all we all did it spent the weekend yeah. chat to people uh, talking about stuff, we did showing it. people things. Some, uh, lovely, some uh, of it was relevant as well. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, and it was re really good. Really enjoyed it. So when when Dan said he was going to do it again this year, we jumped at the chance to do it again and take part. Yeah. So we, we we've uh, we've now got a month to to sort out what we're going to do. So cutting ideas that we want to work on and show yeah, some so, tools. Yeah, now, so course, maybe, uh, I was going to say, maybe if anyone's got any anything for any live sort of hobby paint guide things they want to see us do, um, or design stuff, show off something, and maybe a show, we could maybe do a show and tell, but if anyone's yeah. got any ideas for anything, then that would help us. <laughs> <laughs> so gather your ideas and let us know uh, in the comments below uh, but uh, we're also as I said we're, we'll get together again in a few weeks time here and we'll talk a bit more about Pat McGon and kind of what we've got planned yeah. uh, we'll probably talk different scales as well next week next time because um, we've got some other goodies coming out very soon Yeah, uh, Warlord's yeah. been doing very well I believe with uh, their uh, epic scale epic scale acw yeah i was i was over there dropping a load of stuff for it today and i saw one of the big finished boxes the core boxes and it's a beast of a thing it looks it's really finished. good it's yeah. finished i thought it was uh, american civil war not finished <laughs> <laughs> beast, beast of a thing and i um 
yeah, I was trying very hard to like sneak one out, but no, the security they got the guards gone. out there. Yeah, they they got got out. there. The guard, guard tower, wouldn't they? You know, so now. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Um, so I think uh, have we got any questions on there at the moment? Steve? Adam's asking about. We talked about Patmacon, obviously. Adam's asking about shows. As far as anything we've booked into this year, um, I'm I'm not sure what we'll be doing. We will we will be doing stuff, but I think with the situation at the moment, nothing's clarified. The only one that I know of a date a salute, which has now been moved to November. Which we were going to go to, but well, I think that's going to be a play it by ear. But we've talked about doing something, maybe doing something online, haven't we? Yeah. For a yes. for a session, a big longer session, workshop type thing. So we yeah. might do something like that Absolutely. at some point because and that might 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 be more likely to happen now as we're very close to uh, moving house. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I went over there today, so the electricians, the extraction's all in, all the ducting. The electricians are busily wiring like what looked like about two miles of electrical cables um, into tracking and things. So they should be finished Monday, Tuesday next week. Um, and then we have some lasers over there, which should be up and running probably by the end of the week. And then we will sort of over the next few weeks, we'll gradually flip stuff over. So, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, oh, loads guys. of fun. Hey, oh, guys, we, like, we've got loads to do over the coming weeks. Uh, <laughs> yeah. apart, from, uh, apart from moving our, moving our factory, Gary's got some painting to do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or two. Uh, <laughs> We've got to prepare ourselves for PatMacon and do more of these shows for you guys. So I hope you're enjoying these. Um, and I think we want to have uh, one last shout out for uh, Carl and his Kickstarter this weekend, Steve. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's uh, it's done. It's done really, really well. It's great seeing all the new stuff. There's some really cool stuff there still to still to get unlocked. So yeah. I think yeah. we're just a smidge yeah. away from the tabernacle. Yeah, yeah, which, so which is sat on my shelf here. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So uh, if you've not had a look at it, go and have a look. And there's some, there's, there's a pile of our kits in it, as well as some really cool figures, and uh, there's some really good deals to be had on the terrain. So. Yeah, but then we're biased. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I do yeah. like the fish folk. Though. The fish folk of uh, the certainly uh, yeah. Yeah. Re reasonably biased. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Awesomely. <laughs> yeah. Right, guys. I think yeah. it's time to wrap up. Everybody can see the. I think it's that side. That side. That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely picture of what we've got to come. Uh, we've got the blown up stuff coming later in March. We've got all the individual items coming later in March. Uh, we've got bundles to start us off this weekend. Uh, loads more to come, and it's not just Mediterranean. We've got the uh, Gaslamp Pally as well, as we said yeah. later yeah. in March. So more stuff to come. Keep your eyes pasted, and we'll see you soon. All right. Take Bye. care, Thanks, guys. Stay safe. Bye. Bye. Bye.